Hi, I'm Dana Hillisland, Technical Support Manager at Vermont Photo Inkjet. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use our refillable cartridges for the Epson 7800-9800 and 7880-9880 printer models. Get your workspace set up and thoroughly read the written instructions before beginning. Have an empty refillable cart, make sure the cartridge position and ink match, a funnel, and a priming syringe. Familiarize yourself with the cartridge parts. On top is the fill hole with plug. Here is the chip, the one-way air valve, the air inlet point where the printer pressurizes the cartridge, and the exit valve. Shake the ink bottles before filling or refilling carts. Remove the plug to open the fill hole and open the ink bottle by removing the silicone plug or cutting the foil seal. Insert the funnel into the fill hole. Then pour ink into the cartridge by holding the funnel with one hand and pouring with the other. The ink level should be about one half inch from the top. Remove the funnel and reinsert the fill hole plug. Take the syringe with priming tip attached and insert it straight into the exit valve. Pull the syringe plunger to draw ink up the exit channel and stop when ink enters the syringe. Remove the syringe and the cartridge is now primed. To reset the chip, gently position the chip resetter over the cartridge chip so the seven resetter pins connect with the seven chip contacts and press gently. The light will flash red a few times, then turn solid green to indicate the reset was successful. Carefully cut off the top of the plastic nub holding the chip onto the cart. Then the chip can easily be pried off the cart. Take a small piece of double-sided tape and attach it to the back of the new chip, folding any excess over the back now with gold contacts facing the front of the cart, press it into the chip area on the cart, making sure it's flat and flush. This chip isn't flat and flush. This is the chip sensor which is inside your printer's cartridge chamber. The thin sensor wires can be easily damaged if a cartridge is installed with a chip that's not flat or no chip at all. Pressing the chip down so it's flat will allow for good contact with the sensor and prevent damage to the sensors. Upon startup and when replacing carts, the printer will warn that you've installed a non-genuine cartridge. Simply press the left arrow twice to get past the message and resume printing. Our 7880-9880 refill carts do not show ink levels, but still track internally and will notify you when a cart is empty and needs to be replaced, though it won't indicate which cart. Refill any that are low and reset all cart chips. You should agitate pigment inks in their carts about every two weeks. Raise the locking lever to unlock carts, then remove and shake each cart holding its exit valve down to maintain prime. Then reinstall the cart and lower the locking lever.